Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing great. In today's video, I'll show you how you can delete or disable system applications from your Android device without rooting it or without using a PC. Whenever we purchase a new Android device, particularly from companies like Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo or Realme, the first thing we see is a lot of pre-installed applications. Applications from Google and from the company itself. And most of us do not even use those applications. And sometimes what will happen is that they will bring a lot of notifications and advertisements which completely ruins the Android experience. Well, you can disable or delete some of them directly, but you won't be able to do the same for all the applications. So I thought I will share this method with you guys so that you can try it in your own Android device. Now, there are two important things which you need to make this work. The first thing is, uh, the first thing you need is this OTG adapter. This uh, Apogee is from Amazon and this looks really good. It has a metallic build and uh, looks really steady. I will leave the Amazon link in the video description. And please note that this is a type C to USB A female OTG adapter. It means that from one side you can connect this uh, with your phone, which is a type C port, and from the other side you can connect your pen drive or your charging cable. So, and the second thing you would need is one more Android device. If you have any old Android device at your home, that should work perfectly fine, or you can just borrow one from your friends or from your family members. Now we have this OTG adapter with us, and we have two Android devices. Let's go ahead and start this process. As you can see, I have these two devices here. On one side, I have this uh, Xiaomi device, Redmi 9 Prime. And on the other side, I have this OnePlus device, OnePlus 70. And I'll be deleting system applications from my Xiaomi device. So I'll just keep this OnePlus device to this side here. And I'll start with this Xiaomi device. So the first step here is to enable developer options in your device. So I'll just go to uh, device settings, then about phone, and then go to and tap on this my version multiple times until I get a pop-up saying that you are a developer now. So once this is done, I'll just uh, go back to uh, the main settings here. I'll scroll to the bottom, go to additional settings. And as you can see, the developer options has appeared here. I'll just uh, tap on this developer options. It is enabled. And I need to turn on this uh, USB debugging here. And once I turn on USB debugging, you can just uh, go through this process and wait for some time. And you need to press OK here. So this is a show me problem. It will ask you about this. So uh, I'll press OK here. So this uh, this device is ready now. This show me device is ready. So once you turn on uh, developer options and enable USB debugging, this device is ready now. I'll just keep this device to the side here. And now let's start with this OnePlus device. In my OnePlus device, I need to install an application known as ADB OTG. It's an open source application available both on GitHub and Google Play Store. So I'll just download it from Google Play Store here. So I will just go ahead and uh, download this application first. So once this application is downloaded, you can just go ahead and open this one and start connecting both these devices. And please note that as I'm using this uh, OnePlus device to delete system applications from my Xiaomi device, so I will insert this adapter in my OnePlus device. So as soon as I insert this adapter here and I will just uh, connect both the devices first. So. As soon as I connect both these devices, you can see that a pop-up should appear in my OnePlus device. As you can see this pop-up here, I'll just go ahead and press OK here. And as soon as you press OK here, one more uh, pop-up will appear in your Xiaomi device and you can press OK here as well. And as soon as you press OK in your Xiaomi device, a command prompt window will appear in your uh, OnePlus device. So you can start, you can go ahead and start deleting system applications. And you don't need to check whether your device is connected through a DB mode or not like you do in PC. You can straight away start typing these uh, commands here. Now let me start with deleting YouTube application from a Xiaomi device and the deleting command goes like pm space uninstall space two times hyphen then user then space then zero then space and you need to enter package name here. The package name for YouTube is com.google.android.youtube and once you type this package name here, I can just go ahead and tap on this run. And as soon as I tap on this run, as you can see, the YouTube application is deleted from my Xiaomi device. Now, if you are deleting any system application accidentally from your device and you want to bring it back to your device, for example, I deleted a system, I deleted this YouTube application from this Xiaomi device here. If I want to bring this application back to my Xiaomi device, the command goes like ccmd space uh, package then again space, then install, then hyphen existing, then space, then package name. The package name for YouTube is com.google.android.youtube. You can just uh, copy the package name from this uh, window here. 
and just copy the package name here and just paste it here and once you paste the command you can tap on this run again and once you uh, uh, tap on this run here you can see YouTube application appeared back in my Xiaomi device so this is how you delete system applications from your Android device without root or without using a PC and apart from deleting system applications from your Android device this adapter has multiple uses you can connect pen drive to your Android device and if you are installing a lot of custom ROMs in your Android device this adapter will be really helpful and please check the video description for all the commands as well as the required links. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in my next video.